Hi everyone. Today we're going to be demonstrating how oil and water create a mechanical mixture and we're going to be using Scratch to create this demonstration and hey if you're new to coding or you need a refresher on how to code with Scratch, check out my learn to code videos on YouTube which will get you up to speed pretty quickly and I suggest that you follow me and perhaps subscribe because I'll be uploading vid videos regularly. Anyways, let's get started on today's project. So I'm going to go to Scratch. I already hit the create button. I got rid of the tutorial and I also got rid of the cat so I clicked the, the garbage can. And I've already started drawing my sprites. So I drew a water molecule. And so the way I did that was I went here and I clicked on a paintbrush again. And then I used the circle feature. I chose my colors. I used copy and paste. And I made this water molecule. So the big oxygen atom in the middle and two hydrogen atoms uh, connected to it. I also added a few electrons just to make it look a bit more interesting. I added some protons and neutrons in the middle. And then I made the large oxygen molecule. Uh, um, uh, Adam, a nice blue color because we're going to be calling this one water. So I made this one a little bit bluish. So that's that's what we're going to work with there. So now I'm going to start coding it. And what we're going to do today is create 30 or 40 clones of this water molecule. So once again, we press green flag. Let me make this a bit bigger so you can see at home or at school, wherever you happen to be working. When the green flag is clicked, um, make a clone of myself and do that 30 times, let's say. 30, 30 clones. 30, create a clone of myself. So that should make 30 clones. And I want those clones to spawn kind of in the middle of the screen. So watch how I do that. Um, when I start as a clone, um, go to, go to, not these numbers. I'm going to give it a range. I don't want them to start all on top of each other. So I'm going to go to the operators button and choose random. And for the X, I think I'm going to choose um, between negative 200 and 200. So from all the way here to here, somewhere in that range, negative 200 to 200, negative 200 all the way to 200. And then on the Y, they got to go in the bottom part of the screen. I don't want them to go all the way to the top. So I'm going to get another one of these. So this is going to be um, zero, so that's the middle of the screen, zero, and down about to negative 100, so that's down here. So all of these um, clones should spawn like right in this area here. So let's see what happens. Ready, green flag? Perfect, they all spawned right in there, great. Now, I'm going to have them start moving around, of course, five steps, and if on edge, bounce. So, um, forever move five steps that's an emotion move five steps instead of ten and forever and if uh if on edge bounce and of course at the beginning i always want them to turn in uh, different directions so they don't look like they're all replicas so turn i'm almost done this part here instead of 15 degrees we're going to go get another um random number so choose a number between one and 360 just like a circle and let's see how they go. Ready? Green flag and go. Nice. They all spawn in the middle. And they're moving nicely. Wonderful. Okay. So now I want to set up so they bounce off each other. So if they collide, they're going to bounce off each other. So watch how I do that. I'm going to get another button that says when I start as a clone. You can have many of these. Um, so when I start as a clone, forever check to see if touching another one of these sprites. Watch how I do that. Forever if touching if if right there but instead of saying if touching under the sprite i'm going to choose that color remember i made them all kind of bluish in the middle so i'm going to go to sensing touching and of course not purple it's going to drag that in there and drop it in perfect uh if touching the color blue and i'm going to use the sampling feature right there sample i'm going to go with a sample of the color we're going to work with so click right there and i'm going to go over there and choose that blue right in the middle right there so if touching another sprite with the color blue on it, I'm going to have a turn 170 degrees. You can choose what number you think is best. Uh, I'm not sure what is best. I think 170 works for me. And move 10 steps away from each other and then continue on its way. So let's just see if this part is working. Ready? Green flag and go. They should be bouncing off each other. Yep. There's a huge spawn of them there that start on top of each other. There we go. Are they bouncing? Yes, they are. Perfect. 
Although they're going a little bit fast for me, I might slow them down. Instead of moving five steps, I might have them move a, a smaller amount or put a weight in there. That's what I'm going to do. Five steps and weight um, zero decimal um, zero one. Try that. Ready? Green flag go. Yeah, that looks good. Okay. So I'm just going to pause there and let you catch up and you know I don't really like the color of my sprites they don't stand out very well maybe a better background will help later I don't know anyways you can catch up now make your 30 clones have them all start in the middle of the screen here somewhere and if they're touching another clone if they're touching this color have them bounce off each other by turning 170 degrees and move 10 steps and remember I also had them start in the middle of the screen using these random number features so I'm just gonna pause it here for a minute let everybody catch up and uh, once you're all ready we'll continue Continue on with the next part. All right, so now the next part. Hey, I'm going to make a thin line going across the page right here, and it's going to be the dividing line between the oil at the top and the water at the bottom, and that's how it's going to become a mechanical mixture. Um, but this line has got to be the exact same color as the inside of this sprite because um, it's going to bounce off that line. So watch how I do that. I'm going to just click on the sprite first to make sure I got the right color. So look, I'm going to click on the arrow and click that. So see the fill is the same color as this one. So I've clicked on the arrow, I clicked on this, and now the fill changed the exact same color. So now I'm going to make a whole new sprite. I'm going to click the paint button and see the fill is still the same color. I'm going to grab the rectangle and I'm going to make a line from one side to the other. There we go. And I'm going to make it really thin so we can barely see it. But I want to be able to see it just a little bit. So like that. Great. There we go. And I'm going to grab it and move it over. It could be even a little bit thinner so you don't really see it, but that's okay. So now we're going to coat it so that these molecules, if they bounce off that line, they're going to come back and stay in this side. So um, I just want to make sure I've got that already. I think I've already got that if touching the color blue. Let's see what happens if it touches the color blue at the top. Yeah, see how they're bouncing off? I've already coated that. So they're bouncing off. i got to get rid of that original one. It's causing some problems. So I'm just going to pause, and I'm going to hide that original one. So when the green flag is clicked, hide. When I start as a clone, show. Now that original should hide, and the rest of them will be bouncing around down here and bouncing off that line. Perfect. Nice. So that's the water down here. Now we have to code oil at the top. And you know, in a mechanical mixture, oil and water, in real life, they don't really mix that well. The oil sits on top uh, above the water. So that's what's happening here. So now let's code the oil to be on the top. So look what I'm going to do. I'm going to duplicate this sprite. I'm going to put two fingers on a touchpad and duplicate it. So this is going to be our oil. And the only thing I really need to do is change the color and where they spawn. So I'm going to click on the costumes button of the oil. So there's my water. Here's the oil. I'm going to click on the costumes and fill it with a different color. And oil is yellowish. So I'm going to find a yellow kind of color and fill it in uh, yellow. A light yellow like that. I'm going to use a paint bucket and fill it in like that. Great. So there's my oil. So now I have to set it up so that the oil spawns up here, not down here. And so we've already coated most of it. And if it hits this blue right there, it's going to bounce off each other. And watch what I'm going to do. Um, go to random. Instead of negative 200 to 200, I'm going to leave that. But instead of 0 to 1, negative 100, I'm going to start at maybe 100 and 170. So 100 is around here, 170 is up here. They should all spawn at the top. Let's try that. Ready? Green flag and go. Yeah. Nice. So I've got the water molecules down here, and I've got the oil molecules up here, creating a mechanical mixture. And these two uh, mixtures don't, or these two in, um, molecules don't, don't come together. So the next thing we need to do is put on a title. So you should go down here to the paintbrush button and create a title. We're going to call this a heterogeneous mechanical mixture. And then you can write the words oil and water. So watch, I'm going to do that. I'll just do one of them. So I'm going to hit the paintbrush. I'm going to get a color. It doesn't really matter what color. You can choose a color that you like. Um, maybe a nice uh, purple. Good. I'm going to grab the T for text. I'm going to choose a text that I like. 
and I'm gonna write down here let's say water there we go I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger like that and watch what else I'm gonna do I'm gonna put a little uh, box around it so it looks a little bit nicer so I'm gonna click on the box choose a color for my box and for me it's gonna be a white box I'm gonna make a box around the word water whoops whoops like that like that oh man I messed up here we go there and I'm gonna put it around the word water and I'm gonna put it behind the word water so go to the back so there we go so now the water appears there and I can move that right down like that maybe I'll choose a different color other than, other than white it'll stand out nicer maybe something like that and I'll fill it in there um, so I've made my water title I should make it smaller and a different color it doesn't look that good and I've made um, my molecules my oil molecules there my water molecules down there I'm gonna make a title up here called oil and I'm gonna write down heterogeneous mechanical mixture somewhere so that's the end of this project I hope you like this one create a mechanical mixture and um, I hope to see you at our next project I think you're gonna like it a lot anyways have a great day everybody